Well, hey everybody, welcome to a January, not Thursday. It is, you know, yucky outside. So, right now is a good time to do flashlight stuff. And it is Olight's January flash sale. And as usual, on the fly, on the bench, we are going to do this. We have some new products and we have some new versions of old products. And so you know this runs from January 13th, 8 p.m. Eastern Time to 11.59 January 14th. And it's a 28-hour flash sale. So here's what we got. So we are going to get into the new product first, which is the Olamp Night Tour. This thing is uh, any Olight fan's dream. This thing is awesome. Not to mention, if you're new to Olight, you're going to love it. And speaking, if you're new to Olight, first time setting up an account and partaking in the sales, you're going to get a free keychain flashlight in OD green. So definitely advise you jump on that deal because it's free. How can you beat that? Here we go. Let's take a look at the Olamp. So believe it or not, there is actually two lights involved with this. Whether you want to call it a desktop lamp, wherever you plan on putting it, there's two lights. We have one at the top and then this whole part right here. Oh yeah, suction based. So not only is it USB-C powered, there's a battery in here, 4,000 milliamp hour, and then there's a battery in here. Let's start with the top. Let's take it from the top, right? So, while this is plugged in, you have a switch right on top, okay? If you were to press and hold that switch, you get stepless dimming. That's really cool, right? But that's not why this right up here is really cool. It's magnetic and comes off. So. If you've got this at your desk or at your bedside and you need to get up and do something, you pull this off, you shake it, and you now have a really nice light. And I have to say that the light on this is very warm. The optic in it, I love it. I would love a flashlight with this uh, beam pattern. It's perfect. That is just very cool. But this head of the lamp is even more useful than that. So this right here goes up to 90 lumens and pretty much when it's on here plugged in you can set it to whatever you know brightness you want and then when you take it off and use it that's where it sits. So as it sits up here it charges but not only that you can put your O bulb on it and it charges. And that stepless dimming feature works up here. Not only that, and I just found this out this morning and I'm really pleased about it. The Baton 3, which I love. Same thing. Look at that. This button actually activates the light and stepless dimming. This light is not capable of that on its own. So these three lights, the stock, the Baton 3, the Olight MC and MCS will all work on this head. That is very cool. Now onto the shaft, the stem as they're calling it, of the Olamp. Right down the bottom here, you have a little toggle switch, right? So press it down, you get your white light. Then, it is adjustable. So you can make it very bright, or you can lower it down. So it's uh, good for when you just need to light the room. So from off, press it up. You have two red, green, blue modes. One that kind of pulsates through all the different colors, and apparently you can Stop and hold it on whichever color you want. I personally, I like this. I like the rainbow. That to me is very cool. And then if you put your O bulb on top in the fantasy mode, well, if you have a game room or something, you can give it some ambiance with that. So this thing is pretty awesome. The suction cup is actually 
works very well. Oh, and so you know, this is not plastic. This entire thing is aluminum, top to bottom, with the exception of the base itself, is uh, some type of suctiony silicone. But that is a great night lamp, desk lamp, game room lamp, whatever, as well as a charging station for some of your favorite lights. So since we're talking about colors, this month is a very blue month for Olight. And these are the other things I want to show you. Essentially, we have the Array 2S in Midnight Blue, the Open Pro in Lake Blue, which is a new color, and then the Open Mini, which looks like the, the usual blue, which is gorgeous. I love that shade. But let's talk about the Open Mini first. These are without light, there's no light, it's just a straightforward pen, all aluminum body. You can replace that, actually the clip, everything is aluminum. It's just simple, straightforward, nice. I keep an orange one of these in my backpack for, you know, when I need a pen. So I EDC an orange one because I can see it inside the bag. And uh, these are real cheap. They're doing them all different colors and they're just neat, fun, and nicer than, you know, a standard plastic pen. So moving forward with that, the O-Pen Pro in Lake Blue. I also want to mention that there is a Sika Pro 3 now in this color. I highly recommend that flashlight, one of my favorites for going outside and doing things. And this color, it's awesome. It's actually in between the midnight and the standard Olight Blue. And again, all aluminum made, beautiful craftsmanship, just a very, very nice pen. And not only does it write very well, but it's an Olight, so it has a small light on the side, which you, you know, you use the pen activating switch here, and it'll go 5, 20, 60, 120 lumens. So that's pretty cool. And I have showed you guys this pen before in the past. So you can activate the pen, put it down beside your pad of paper and be able to see when you write. And it's USB-C rechargeable, like a lot of new devices nowadays. So that definitely helps. And as well, it has a green laser pointer on the end. So, you know, if you're doing presentations or doing a walkthrough on a house or a building and you need to show people things and talk about things, you have a green laser pointer. So just a nice overall package indeed. And contributing to that overall nice package, I want to point this out too, that uh, the pens come in this very hard plastic case. It's not just for shipping. To me, this is a what I would keep it in the bag because it's a hard case. It stores your USB-C cable for recharging as well as an extra refill for the pen. So, you know, to me that is just a nice setup in its entirety. Just thought I'd point that out. And also new this month is the Array 2S 1000 lumen headlamp. Now I did a review video on this. I'll put it at the end of the video. This is a great flashlight headlamp, uh, but they're doing it in this midnight blue, which I did not get the Sika 3 in this color. And it's, this is the first time I've seen it. It's nice, it's dark, it's rich, kind of low key, but with some color, you know? So yeah, this is the hands-free headlamp where you can switch modes, brightness levels, by using your hand. So if you're wearing gloves, or you have, you know, crap all over your hands, junk, dirt, whatever, and you just don't want to get your hands up all up, you know, on your dome or your light, boom, you just use that. So here's some outdoor footage of it uh, from my review. It's just a great, bright flashlight headlamp.
So that's the new stuff I have to show you, but I want to show you something that I bought, uh, I think it was last month's flash sale. They had just come out with these. I hadn't seen them before, and I got a few of them for us here. And they are much better than I thought they were going to be. And it's a, basically, it's like a EDC admin bag. Uh, it has multiple setups, so you can either put it on with your belt, you know, if you needed to fanny pack it, or you can use the Molly loops. The thing is, it's larger than you would think. I have been trying to find one of these for my power pack stuff, meaning spare batteries, plugs, connectors, everything that if I needed it all at once, it's in here. But the biggest thing was finding one that would fit the battery pack itself. I tried 511, uh, I had a Maxpedition one, I had a couple different ones that it just didn't make it. So this was perfect and I still have a ton of room. So up in here I have, you know, adapters, all my cables for my lights, radio, cell phone, pretty much anything that I could need to charge. And again, even with that, there's still room. So if you wanted to hook this up with lights, knives, whatever, uh, it works great. And then the way they've got it set up is so you can lash stuff down. There's a pass-through compartment here, a handle. Yeah, I was actually quite pleasantly pleased when I got these. So I just wanted to share that with you because a couple people commented on Facebook. They wanted to know, or they hadn't seen it with stuff in it. And when I showed pictures of mine, they were like, oh, that actually looks quite handy. So there you have that. So as always, don't forget the promo code from me to you, SDNT10, 10% off any non-sale item, anytime. If you use my link, you help my channel, I appreciate it. See you soon. Enjoy your not Thursday.